Alright, this is Nate Sawyer with Bright Agritech and today I'm down in Colorado at the Grow House with JD Sawyer. He's one of the guys behind Colorado, Colorado Aquaponics and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about the earth batteries they have installed in a couple of their greenhouses. Sure, so here we actually have this big tube that you can see that extends all the way up to the top of the greenhouse here and then that goes down about three to four feet underground and there's a simple fan here in this tube it's actually drawing that waste heat that gets stored at the top of the greenhouse and it's pulling that heat down into the ground and the cooling properties of the earth are actually helping cool that, that, that warm air and then that goes through a series of four inch uh, ADS sock pipe or a drain pipe uh, back and forth, back and forth so this acts as like a giant you know, heat exchanger and then comes out the other side of the greenhouse out of similar sized tubes as cooler air, so it helps to regulate the air temperature, minimizing the, the extreme variances that you can get in Colorado and, and get in, in a greenhouse environment, and really kind of rolls that, those, those spikes off, if you will. Um, so really now we're, we're running the you know, energy to require to run a couple fans, as opposed to you know, running fossil fuels and, and all that, so we're minimizing our reliance on, on those fossil fuel inputs That's to awesome. heat and cool the greenhouse. I imagine it saves you a bit of money on heating and cooling too. It sure does. You know, there's some upfront costs uh, for sure in, in installing the, the network and doing some excavation and whatnot, um, but it's going to save money for us over the long haul. And again, it can be a system that does both heating and cooling. Uh, as well, so it's a year-round geothermal uh, system, so we're excited. Awesome. Well, thanks for telling us about it. Yeah. And uh, this is Nate Sawyer with Bright Agritech. If you like what you see, please subscribe and make sure you check out Colorado Aquaponics. We'll make sure that we post their website down below.